Not sure why my phone's not getting reception. Instagram has become the hottest photo sharing app for smartphones. I'm basically on it a good once every 20 minutes, if not more. Like an addiction is an understatement. It's so hot that Facebook has snapped up the fledgling company for a whopping $1 billion. That's an awful lot of money for a three-year-old company with 13 employees, no business plan, and no profits. But as Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg explained on his Facebook page, millions of people around the world love the Instagram app and the brand associated with it. And our goal is to help spread this app and brand. That Instagram team is a lucky bunch. The payoff from the deal could be worth tens of millions of dollars apiece. Why did Facebook pay so much? It's because Instagram is not just a photo sharing app. It's like Facebook for pictures, with a friending feature that allows people to communicate with an ever-widening circle. Sound familiar? It should, because that's exactly what Facebook does. So Instagram was a competitor in social networking on the most important new platform, smartphones, and a fast-growing one at that. But many Instagram users told us they're afraid that Facebook might change their favorite smartphone app into something they don't like quite as much. Instagram's Apple iPhone app has more than 25 million users, and its Android version is growing by 1 million a day. Other online giants like Google had reportedly made offers for the company as well. I feel like Facebook's going to change it. Like they do like every five, I don't know, it was like every five weeks or something, they change the format of Facebook and I feel like they're going to do that to Instagram. If they start doing that, then that will cause some confusion and frustration. I'll be angry. Zuckerberg promised not to fold Instagram into Facebook completely, but said he would help the company grow and develop independently. Sure, $1 billion is a lot of money, but not to Facebook, which is on its way to a $100 billion initial public stock offering within the next few months. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Santa Monica, California.